And then we have the big question, right? We have the big question is, was I ignored because I'm unworthy of attention? Was I ignored or neglected? Because I'm uninteresting, because... Yeah, there's no closure. There's just no answer. No, there well, is I mean, an answer. That... No, there is an answer. There oh. is an answer. Children are fascinating. Children are fascinating. You can never get bored of children because they're, they're constantly growing, constantly mm -hmm. learning new things. My daughter is writing music now. Yeah. It's incredible. It's, and it's nice music. It's good music. It's music that <laughs> would not exist in the world if she wasn't doing what she was doing. Right. There are songs that live because of her. She's got nice lyrics. She writes the melodies. She plays them. And there's nothing to be bored about with kids. There are times where it's like, oh, it's kind of repetitive. and But then it breaks through. Mm-hmm. Children are incredibly interesting. So I guarantee you, Tanya, that you were not ignored or neglected because you weren't worthy of attention or weren't interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're fascinating. You're deep, you're rich, you're thoughtful, emotional, connected, introspective sensitive, insightful. I could go on, but you are fascinating. <laughs> so the question is, who's not interested in something that's fascinated? Well, it's sort of like if you're sitting on a porch with someone. What's the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen, Tanya? Um. Pretty much every sunset I've ever seen in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> right. me, me. Every right. single sunset. <laughs> right. Yeah, the... Fretted with golden too. fire, that lovely line from Hamlet about sunsets, fretted with golden fire. So mm -hmm. sunsets, like if, you, if you're sitting there on the porch, you're having a coffee, the sun is setting over the trees and it is beautiful, you know, like a paint spattered angel winged tapestry of the gods of the, the sun sinking or some of those weird moons you know like those weird freaky stephen king moons that are like just over the treetops and they look like like giant swollen orange eyeballs <laughs> just crazy stuff <laughs> and and so you see something beautiful like that and you're, you're sitting next to someone and that someone is really depressed and you look at that sunset and you say that sunset isn't it beautiful? And they look at it and they say, eh, is that the fault of the sunset? No. Is the sunset doing something wrong? Is the sunset suddenly ugly or boring? No, they're depressed. They cannot experience pleasure. They cannot experience enthusiasm. They consider it sometimes a self-betrayal to be positive about anything. Yeah. Why did your mother go out drinking? Probably picking up guys, doing whatever. Was it because you were boring? No. No. Jeez. Sadly, it didn't have anything to do with you. If you are ignored, no matter how beautiful a sunset you are, it's because people are depressed or yeah. empty or greedy for validation of a declining sexual market value or whatever or simply wildly dissociated because their brains are steeped in endless destructive vats of alcohol. Right. You deserved attention. And the sun That's puts on amazing. this incredible show every single night. Oh, look at this painting <laughs> I've made. No human being can paint like I paint with my mighty muscles of fire. And people are like, eh. eh. They'd rather check Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, listen. I mean, the number of times where I'm at a play center courting certain death by touching the surface. <laughs> Bubonic yeah. plague now probably. But I'm and the number of times I've seen 
the, the, the kids, they go down the monkey bars and they do it for the first time and they're calling for their parents to watch. Face deep in some phone, looking at some stupid crap. I guarantee it's stupid crap. Yeah. And it's like, you just missed a milestone for your child. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, because you found out what your second cousin's roommate from college had for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thing. There's phones now. They have a setting for photographing food. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> important, important functions. <laughs> that's what we've done with our technology. I found a way to make pasta look better. Oh, God. Yeah. How about you be a better cook? No. <laughs> No, I am not going to use face cream. I'm just going to use the beauty setting on my selfie. Uh, anyway, people miss, Do you want to fight? Oh, people miss sorry. amazing stuff all the time. They miss amazing yeah. stuff all the time. And I'm sorry, Tanya. I'm really, really sorry that you were missed. You deserve to have an entire clan at your graduation. You deserve to have them cheer. All the bees their feet. that are related to me. Yeah. The 14 degrees of separation. <laughs> And I am sorry that you were ignored, but you were ignored not because you were boring, but because people were empty. You know, mm -hmm. I once heard something in therapy. I was told something in therapy about a relationship I had. And my therapist said, this person is terrified of your depth. You understand it is your capacity for self-reflection for self-criticism. It is your interest in yourself, your interest in the world, your depth, your intelligence, your curiosity, Tanya, that drives the empty people away. It is not, you were not ignored for your faults. You were not ignored for your vices or your emptiness. You were ignored, I would believe, because of your depth. You were ignored because of your richness, because of your capacity, because of your intelligence, because of your insight, because you were ignored in the same way that someone looks away from a searchlight that gets suddenly pointed in their face and they run in the opposite direction and their eyes hurt. You were ignored mm -hmm. because you were too bright and it was painful, I think, for those around you. And it was horrible and it was unjust. And of course, they would like you to continue thinking at some level that you were uninteresting. Because yeah. that way they don't have to confront why they ignored you and what that means about them. 